Hey, Nate, uh, what have you thought of Trey's ability to break down the, the Knicks defense and everything they've thrown at him through three games? Well, I, I mean, uh, Trey has been doing that all season long. You know, his ability to create offense, uh, not only for himself, uh, but for his teammates. Uh, you know, he's, he's pretty much first option on a lot of our sets. I thought he did a nice job tonight. Uh, you know, not only creating opportunities and forcing their defense to uh, collapse, but uh, he kicked the ball out tonight. And we made some shots. You know, uh, he's been doing that all series long. We haven't made shots tonight. Uh, we was able to make some shots. I wanted to ask you also about his playmaking. When he has the ability to make those passes with either hand, in what ways would you say it makes everybody's life easier who's on the court with him at the same time? Well, I think it just, I mean, when you have uh, shooters on the floor, as we do, uh, Trey is able to, uh, you know, do things with both hands. He's able to pass with both hands. Uh, he doesn't really have a weakness. You know, he, you can force him left. He can go left. Uh, he can go right. You know, he can shoot the jump shot. He can attack the basket. He shoots free throws. You know, so he really doesn't have a weakness. And, uh, you know, he just takes what the defense uh, gives him, and he's doing a good job of, of finding the open man uh, when the defense collapses in the paint. And uh, when they don't, uh, he is attacking and, uh, you know, finishing at the rim. Sarah Spencer. Hey, Nate. Um, just how key was that second quarter? And is that when you started to see the guys kind of settle in and, and settle down a little bit? I thought we did. I thought we did. I, I love our energy uh, coming out, uh, but I thought we uh, was, you know, uh, we, we needed to, you know, calm down just a little bit. Uh, we gave up 13 free throws in that first quarter. I thought we settled down in that second quarter, started to play basketball and, uh, you know, defend without foul and, and not allow those guys to get to the free throw line. Uh, we pretty, did a pretty decent job of forcing them to miss but uh, uh, we, we still gave up uh, some offensive rebounds in that uh, first half. Second half, we did a better job of, uh, of uh, finishing the defensive end of the floor with rebound. How good was it to see John rebound with his performance tonight? Well, he, he, he did, I thought he did a really nice job, uh, you know, uh, on, on Randall and, and guarding him. Uh, you know, he, he was in foul trouble our last game. Uh, he picked up uh, two fouls early in the uh, first quarter, but then he settled down and did a, just a solid job of just make, keeping the ball in front and, uh, you know, stand, being able to stay out on the floor. Uh, he's an important part of uh, what we like to do on both ends of the floor. And uh, I thought he responded with a, a solid game tonight. Zach Klein. Hey, Nate, um, have you ever been involved in a game where you win by double digits, yet the other team shoots nearly four times as many free throws and without trying to get you fined? Can you maybe explain the discrepancy between the uh, two attempts and uh, with the, they're shooting from the free throw line and where you guys are in this series? I'm not touching that. I'm not touching that. Uh, yeah, I just I, – I, I don't know. I have to look at the tape. You know, a lot of times uh, you, you feel a certain way uh, at the end of the game, and when you go back and you watch the tape, um, you know, the, the game is, is, is played a little different. You know, for us, I thought uh, we were attacking tonight, and we were doing what we did in the last two games. Uh, tonight, we just made, we made shots. Uh, we made perimeter shots, uh, and, uh, you know, we didn't have to get to the free throw line. So uh, I thought our guys were aggressive, attacking the basket, uh, moving the ball. You know, we had 28 assists. I think we are averaging around 17, 18 assists uh, in those first two games. So tonight we made shots. Uh, and, you know, when you're making shots, you don't have to get to the free throw line. Jeff Schultz. Nate, I know it helps that everybody shot well tonight, but it seemed like you made a concerted effort to always have either Trey or Bogey in the game. Um, not to have both on the bench at the same time, unlike game two. I'm just wondering what went into that decision. You look at your, you look at your uh, film, as we've said, and uh, you make adjustments. As I said before, I study my film every night. And uh, you make adjustments to 
uh, how you want to attack and, um, uh, you know, trying to uh, keep balance out on the floor. So uh, I studied the tape and made adjustments. And, and the tape just told you that there weren't enough times in game two where you guys were able to attack, basically? Okay, say that again. And, and the tape told you that there were not enough times in game two where you were able to attack, especially when both those guys were on the bench? No, we've been we've, we've pretty much played that way most of the season. Um, I just felt I needed to make an adjustment with uh, uh, my rotation. The tape told me a lot of things, and we made some adjustments uh, in this game, and um, I like those adjustments we made. Steve Hummer. Yeah, Nate, what, uh, through the first uh, three, three games of this series, what have you done so effectively to frustrate Julius? You know, we've, uh, uh, you know, whether we're frustrating him or not, I think, you know, we've started Dre on him. Uh, and we just tried to get pressure on him and not allow him to, you know, walk to his spot or get to his spot uh, out on the floor, you know, try to get pressure on him. Uh, you know, Dre is a little, uh, you know, he's big, but he, he can he can guard, uh, you know, uh, on the, you know, guys who uh, can attack off the dribble. Uh, I thought he did a solid job. You know, we had to switch Dre to uh, Rose, and uh, John did a solid job of just, making him work, trying to stay in front of him, you know, denying his catch, forcing his catch out, but, uh, you know, keeping your shoulders square and keeping him in front and making him go score over the top, you know, not uh, allowing him to uh, attack and, and get to the free throw line. Thanks. 11 alive. Hey, Nate, just to have, uh, you know, a crowd like that, behind you just that that energy uh just first of all just how does that feel and just how does that help you guys uh you know pull up I mean the shooting just everything how, how did that how does that crowd help you guys well I thought our guys really fed off of that you know it was a lot of energy in the building uh I thought we got a lot of energy from our guys uh and you know this first time really at home that they have uh, played in front of the sellout crowd uh we needed them and uh, I thought our guys uh you know gave them uh, energy by how they played out there. And, uh, you know, I thought our guys responded to that. And, uh, you know, just kind of, you were asked about Trey earlier, uh, just humor me for a second here, because, you know, he's, he's been an elite scorer, but it seems like there's been almost a maturation of him as a facilitator and a playmaker. Just how have you, is that is that accurate? Have, how have you seen him evolve in, in those facets of his game? Um, well, uh, he, the, the thing is, he can do both, and he has to do both. Uh, you know, he has weapons out there uh, alongside of him. And, uh, you know, he has to take advantage of uh, what the defense is doing. And, you know, when they are collapsing in the paint, as uh, New York uh, defense does, uh, the perimeter is open. He has to find those guys and get the ball to the shooters. If they are staying on the perimeter, uh, then he he uh, has the ability to attack, uh, you know, the the, the – uh, the big in the paint, you know, so it's, it's making reads and, uh, you know, making sure that he takes care of the ball. Uh, you know, he only had two turnovers uh, uh, tonight. You know, that's that's a really good game from, uh, for a point guard, 21, uh, 14, and two. Uh, those are great numbers uh, that we want to see and we expect to see. He's, he's good enough to put those numbers up. Brandon Harper. Hey, Coach, uh, great win tonight. Um, Thank you. You talk about the game inside the game. You know, every game is, is chippy and guys start talking to one another and going back and forth. Uh, but we know that, you know, sometimes with a, a young team that that can deter them and take away their confidence at times. But that doesn't seem that that's not what that looks like with this Hawks team. Just talk about how your team kind of uses that as fuel to keep pushing instead of it using it to de uh, deter them. Well, you know, as long as we are, are doing what we supposed to do out there, um, you know, I've, I've played with guys who they talk and it, 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 it motivates them and it gets them going. And, you know, we have some guys that uh, they like to talk, you know, so, um, you know, as long as you back it up, 
you know, and I thought our guys tonight, they came out and played a solid game, uh, starting on the defensive end of the floor. Uh, we had really good ball movement uh, again tonight. And, uh, you know, I think the big thing was we we made shots and uh, we have to continue to do that. You know, it's only two games, you know, and, uh, you know, it's two more to go to go here. Allison Mastrangelo. Hey, Coach, I was just curious if there are any challenges now getting ready for a one o'clock game on Sunday and how you kind of have to adjust uh, to such kind of an early game for you guys, game four. Yeah, well, we've played some early games. Uh, you know, tomorrow we will, uh, you know, or tonight we will look at tape and tomorrow we'll have some cleanups. It'll, we'll go through our walkthrough tomorrow uh, at practice and, uh, you know, watch some film and, and cover some things out on the floor and get ourselves ready, uh, you know, for that one, one o'clock start. Camila Johnson. Hey, Coach, congrats on the win. Thank you. Um, Kevin Herter scored 10 points tonight, but he also showed a lot that doesn't show up on the stat sheet as far as on the defensive end. What have you liked from him this series and also tonight? I, I think uh -huh. Kevin has been solid for us all season long. You know, his ability to, you know, uh, defend, uh, shoot the ball, uh, play make, uh, uh, you know, and, you know, putting him on the other side of, uh, of Trey and Bogey. Uh, it gives you three guys that can handle the ball and shoot the ball. And uh, he has been doing this for us, uh, you know, really all season. Um, you know, I think his defense uh, from the start of the season to now has gotten better, uh, you know, staying in front of the ball uh, and, and, you know, just becoming more of a, a defender uh, and offensively, uh, you know, he lost his, his, his rhythm uh, in a couple games, uh, the first couple games. But tonight, it was good to see the ball go in the basket for him. Three more. First from Chris Kirshner. You know, you mentioned before Trey limiting his turnovers uh, for the series. That really hasn't been much of an issue for him. Why do you think he's been so in control in just controlling the offense and, and limiting those turnovers? Well, we talk about that pretty much every game. Um, you know, he's the guy who who is controlling everything out there. And, uh, you know, he, he's showing growth in managing and, and running a team. Uh, you know, he's showing trust in, you know, giving the ball uh, to Bogey and, and getting Bogey opportunities and, you know, uh, Dre opportunities and, and, and uh JC and Clint, you know, getting those guys involved, you know, so he's showing some growth uh, in his play in managing and understanding uh, what he needs to do out on the floor. Uh, he's keeping all of those guys involved while uh, continuing to stay aggressive and he's making good reads, you know, and as I, you know, we, we've talked a number of times, um, you know, he's, he has to cut down his turnovers. Uh, I think he's too good of a passer uh, to act, you know, to have five and six turnovers a game, uh, you know, two, uh, you know, he, two is okay, but five and six is is a big number uh, for a guy who uh, passes as well as he does. Last two uh, from Raphael Haynes. Hey, Coach Raphael Haynes with the three point conversion, Coach. Tonight, offensively in the fourth quarter, you went through a dry spell, but the defense stepped up. Can you talk about the difference between game two when you went through that dry spell and they end up winning the game versus tonight when your defense stepped up and um, still able to keep that lead? Again, you know, I thought uh, the third and fourth quarter, we went through a dry spell in our last game. We scored only 18 points in the third. Uh, only 17 in the fourth. Uh, and uh, again, we, I thought we missed a lot of open shots in that game. Uh, you know, tonight, the difference was we made those shots. Uh, you know, your defense can only hold for so long. Uh, you have to make continue to make shots. And uh, we started to uh, knock down some shots. Uh, we had some good execution down the stretch. Uh, John made a couple plays uh, down the stretch. So, 
uh, you have to execute and make shots going down the stretch. And I thought that was a difference in uh, tonight's game. Final question from Simone Sandry. Yes, uh, Gallo has been has been struggling the first two games of the series, going uh, five for twenty-one. Tonight was just a matter of him uh, letting the game come to him and finding his uh, finding the basket. Or did you put him in some sets to get him more comfortable against the next defense? Uh, again, I, I thought he had open looks uh, that he normally knocks down uh, in New York. Uh, a lot of our guys did, and uh, that ball just wasn't falling. You know, at home. Uh, you know, uh, we felt better, you know, shooting uh, tonight. And, you know, those the same shots that we were getting in New York uh, tonight, we knocked those shots down. So, uh, you know, when we're hitting shots and uh, we're defending like uh, we did tonight, uh, we're going to be tough, you know, uh, tough to beat. And, uh, you know, we've always talked about uh, making this a tough place to uh, come in and get a win. And uh, tonight, uh, we, again, we did that. Uh, defensively, we were solid. Offensively, we I thought we had really good execution, 28 assists, and uh, that's due to us making shots. Thank you, Coach.